Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by first calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord now for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Now, Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Thyatira, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord, the Lord takes, takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The, the Lord, Lord takes delight in his, his people. people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. The Lord, the Lord takes, takes delight in his, his people. people. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord, Lord takes delight in his people. people. Your blessing, Father. May Almighty God be in your heart and on your lips so you may claim his holy gospel worthily and well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, 
he will testify to me. And you also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I offer you today uh, some words of comfort and consolation and hope, uh, especially in the midst of such a foreboding gospel from Jesus today, uh, when he's speaking to his disciples uh, right before his ascension, uh, announcing that the Holy Spirit will come. And did you hear that piece that he threw in there in fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think that they are offering worship to God. Uh, I always imagine that if I was one of the disciples, I'd say, yeah, wait, what did you just say? Everyone who what? Everyone who kills you. Uh, and here's the word of comfort in the midst of all that. Jesus, uh, as we know, reminds us that we should never feel the, uh, fear those who can only kill the body, Right? but that we should uh, be gracious and appreciative to him who heals our soul and desires us for all eternity. Do not fear those who can only kill the body. And he's speaking not only of the foreboding that they will suffer earthly persecution in bodily form, but he's reminding them that through the offering of their lives, they give witness. They testify to his love for all humanity. Uh, some of the words of con uh, consolation for you come as a reminder of the gift of your baptism and what we see, how we see God's love expressed to you through the gift of your baptism. We just had a baptism here uh, over the weekend. Uh, great joy to offer that baptism. I'm, I'm going to remind you and I'm going to encourage you to revisit the ritual of baptism to see what God was offering you that we might uh, be awakened in all of that gift. Right? The four main parts of a baptism, of course, we're baptized on the faith of our parents and godparents. Right there, that's a gift, that others have participated in bringing you the gift of faith and the gift of life. What a great reminder that we're not in this alone. But four main parts, there's the presentation of you, the presentation of the child. And then the second part is Jesus speaks. The word of God is attending to the sacrament. And then there's the sacrament of baptism itself, and then we celebrate and, and point out what God just did. A couple highlights from each one of those, just again as a reminder and a comfort to you, uh, as the psalm says, because the Lord delights in you, even when you're facing physical adversity. Your parents uttered your name to remind us that God has known you by name from all eternity. Since you were knit together in your mother's womb, God knew your name, and he gives the honor to your parents of announcing your name. And your parents ask the church for baptism. They're asking the church publicly for your entrance into the body of Christ. They're asking for your faith. They're asking for your eternal life. Wow, what an expression of God's love, again, offered through those who love you most. And then we turn to the scripture. And God's love speaks in attendance when you were baptized, when you received the gift of the Holy Spirit there. And when you were born into new life, Jesus speaks and he offers words of instruction and promise and hope for you. And then we see the rite of baptism itself uh, in which we all attending uh, are led to renounce evil and profess God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. What a great gift of a reminder to, uh, to know that people on your behalf we're already committing to give you life and to support you uh, in great part by rejecting Satan, all of his empty promises, all of his works, and leading you in professing God who is love and communion and promise. And then we celebrate toward the end. And we point out the white garment, which is a reminder, an outward reminder that you've been washed free from sin. And you're invited to bring that garment of your soul unstained into all eternity but you have help you have the light of christ along the way you have your godparents and your parents with you 
the church prays for you as we wrap it up. We pray that your ears may be opened, that your mouth may be opened, that you might always hear God's words speak to you, that you might utter his words of truth and love to all those you meet through your life. Those are just some highlights. There's a depth of richness. But what's significant to recognize is that these words of Jesus in the gospel should not concern us, those who kill you, because in a sobering, loving reminder, we've already died. We've already died. In baptism, we died with Christ. We died to our old self, our sinful self. And on that day, we rose with Christ. We no longer live ourselves, but it's Christ who lives in us. He who cannot be killed. So my brothers and sisters, I invite you to celebrate uh, and thank all those who led you to baptism. Thank God for the grace for them to do that. Um, and to recommit to living out your baptismal promises with the help of God's grace. You might be thinking, hey, I wasn't officially baptized. Uh, there's such a thing called baptism of desire as well, and maybe that's you today. And I remind you, as St. Paul offered the early church in Rome, that it begins by believing in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, and professing on your lips that God raised him from the dead, that brings us salvation. So if you are starting out without a, uh, an official baptism, uh, know of the gift of the desire for baptism, and that incorporates you into the body of Christ immediately. Okay. Let's thank him for the grace to live in him today that we cannot fear those who only kill the body. But even in the midst of those who persecute us, we will offer God's blessing and love. Let us now arise and gather the needs of this day and present them to God the Most High. For Pope Francis, for all bishops, priests, and deacons, may they, like Paul, be fueled by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit as they preach the word of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our world, may the Holy Spirit enliven the hearts of all believers and help us proclaim the good news of salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those for whom we pray in our Mother's Day Novena, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have lost their way, may God help them to hear his voice and follow his path, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here at Liturgy today, may God give us perseverance as we continue on our own journeys of evangelization, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they experience the peace and joy of the heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we bring the needs of this day, those spoken, those within our hearts, and those yet unknown. We ask that you grant them all through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, 
will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Stand and pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess yes, your Lord, resurrection Lord. until Will you come, come again. Me. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, 
We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain <clears throat> an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with her blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Monica, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by a divine teaching, we stand and dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this, this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us stand and pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with with your your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks Thanks be be to to God. God.